Hello everyone. Today on Somewhat More Creations, I'm going to show you how to measure your window for curtains. Um, most curtains typically you will hang from above the window to the floor and that's your typical 84 inch length um, drape or shears in this case. Um, your average window width is 32 inches and you want to decide when you pick out your curtains for or if you make them uh, whether or not you want them extra full if you just want them to be there as adding color to the room so if you want a nice full set of curtains for your window you want to measure the width of your window take that number and multiply that by two to two and a half times so for this window if I was and I am getting ready to redo the curtains for this one. The first measurement you want to have is from where you're going to hang your rods. If you're going to hang your rods outside of the window, in this case, outside of this molding here, then you're going to measure outside of the molding here to the outside of the molding on the other side. So for this window, outside of molding to outside of molding is 40 and a half inches. So 40 and a half inches. So you're going to want to have at least 81 inches widthwise of your fabric or your curtain panels. Your curtain panels um, range in different widths. There's some that are 52 inch. There are some that's 48. So that way you can determine if it's all an already pre-made curtain that how many panels you're gonna need. So if your panel width that you see in the store of the, the kind of curtain that you like and you want to use, if it's only 40 inches wide, then what you wanna do is have four panels. Now let me explain that. I just measured this and it's 40 and a half inches. So I rounded it off to 41. So if you're wanting your panels to part in the center, that double width is 41 times two minimum, which is 82, okay? So you wanna have, if real full, if you want them to be very full and when I say full, I mean gathered like this, where it's a lot of ripples in it. So you want each half, each side of your window to have 40 inches, okay? So in this case, if your panels were only 40 inches, you would need one for lightly um, gathered, double that, Make, put two panels on one side and two panels on the other side. It would be a, a lot more full. Um, a lot of reason why people do that extra fullness is because they want to, instead of getting darkening curtains, they want to keep the light out. Also put into consideration which direction your window is facing. Does it get a lot of bright sunlight? If it gets a lot of bright sunlight, make sure that you get something white, a white sheer behind it, or line them or have a lining or or blackout curtains are great um, the only thing with blackout curtains is you're limited as to colors and styles and if you see a fabric in the fabric store that you especially like then you want to if it's a sunny window and it gets a lot of sun to avoid fading of your beautiful print that you want to hang up you want to have a white to reflect the sunlight out and this is a northern window or eastern window so it gets the morning sun but then the harsh sun of the afternoon it doesn't get so that's why right now I have the shears in here but I'm gonna dress this room up pretty soon so you take your width of your window and like I said you determine that if you want it to be a full gather to keep light out or to be able to buy get tie backs and have it drape really nice where you could put tie backs on the side and have it do like this kind of effect. Let me show you with this side. 
where you could do like this and have it blouse across. Kind of like that. Like you've seen a lot of dining rooms. And this is our dining room. Um, that's the first measurement you want to see how many inches across your window is and where the outside of your rod is going to hang. Um, I don't know too many that do inside the window frame as far as hanging curtains up on the inside. Most of the times you're going to have it on the outside. Uh, your typical white curtain rod bends around like an L shape on both ends and it just kind of snaps into place. And uh, so you have to allow for the turnaround around the corner. These are what's called a cafe style rod. As you'll see here, it's just kind of like sits, has a little finial on the end and has a bracket. Now, because the rod at its smallest point is wider than the window, then if I were going to make new curtains for this, I would measure from the existing rod end and measure from there to the opposite side. And that way it would give me a new width. So in this case, if you look, you can see how outside of the window frame is a good probably five inches. So I would need to add 10 inches more to my width. So instead of it being 41, it's 51 and double that, that's 102, okay? And length. Length is your next consideration. You want to make sure that you determine, do I want them to the floor? Do I want my curtains just below the window ledge or somewhere in between? So once you figure out where are you going to hang your rod from? And that's the next step. You measure your width and you measure where you're gonna have the rod from. As you see, this is not sitting on top of the window frame. A lot of times it's easier to place the curtain rod on top of the window frame. And then you measure from there, like if these were not already pre-existing, I would be measuring from the floor to the top of the window frame. And from here to the floor is a good 80 inches. It's about a good 80 inches. So, because the rod is raised, these are actually 84 inch shears on this window. Um, so the rod was raised up the previous owners raised the rod up so that the 84 inch length wouldn't touch the floor. Because if I had put in the rods myself and put them right at the frame of the window, it would be over 84 inch, an 84 inch curtain would drag on the ground. And you don't always want that because of dust and dirt on the floor and that sort of thing. And uh, nobody likes to wash the curtains frequently. I know I don't. So, one, width of your window. Find out how many panels you need, as far as that goes. And length. Where are you gonna hang your curtain rod? Measure from where the curtain rod's gonna hang to the floor or however long you want it to reach. So, what you can do is, you, if you wanted one just below the curtain, be below the window ledge, you'd measure from the molding up to the top to the bottom of the molding of the actual wooden frame of your window. And in this case, it is exactly 60 inches from the top to the bottom. There's a decorative molding on the base, which I can't show you right now. Um, and you measure to the bottom of that so that it won't show. So your typical window length, as long as your rod is not super high, is gonna be 64 inches. So you have the uh, average lengths that you'll find in the store are 64, 72, and 84. And then custom ones, of course, you would have custom lengths on those. So this window, being that it's in a dining room in a formal area, 
from the rod to the floor, I'm going to choose 84 inch. 84 inch from top to bottom. And I didn't have them real full, so these panels on here for this look are about are 50 inches wide. So it's 100 inches. So that's not quite two and a half times, but it works. And then of course, if you wanted to do valances along with this, you would need a double rod kind of setup. Um, what some people do is they'll take a pressure rod and put inside of your window frame, inside here. They'll put a pressure rod in there, put their shears there, and then drape a valance over the top on that bar. Um, I particularly like the double bar because it stays away from the window. You don't have to worry about it. You know, if you have blinds like this, you don't have to worry about it rubbing up against them. Um, I hope that's been helpful for you in choosing curtains for your windows and how to measure them for that. Um, shears are great, but make sure that if you have a sunny room and you don't want your print fabric that you're gonna hang up for your formal drapes, make sure that you have something white behind it to reflect the sunlight out and that way you don't have your curtains fading for you. I well, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any other questions or would have any uh, suggestions, um, please do like and share my video and also check me out on uh, Facebook, So What and More Creations. And have a happy sewing day.